Hello, my name is Ashiana Nanel, and today I'm going to give an informational speech on seatbelt safety. We have all made the excuse before or heard someone say it. It's uncomfortable. I'm only going to the store down the street. I'm a good driver. I don't need to use one. Well, being a good driver does not mean you are accident free. There are certain situations out of your control, for example, other drivers, road conditions, and bad weather. Riding in the passenger seat with two friends enjoying a summer night suddenly took a turn for the worse. In my situation, it was a friend falling asleep behind the wheel. Thankfully, we all made it out safely with minor cuts and bruises. We were all very lucky because none of us were wearing our seatbelts. Which brings me to today's discussion, pleading to you guys to always wear a seatbelt because it's the law. First, I'm gonna go over some wrong beliefs about seatbelts. Seatbelts is good on traveling trips, but if I am in town, I don't need one. That is very untrue. Um, most accidents are in the origin of your home, um, five to 10 miles away from your home. Accidents do happen on the highway also, but they happen frequently um, not too far from your home. Seatbelts can trap you inside your vehicle. Seatbelts, the whole purpose of seatbelts is to keep you from being ejected out the vehicle. They will not trap you inside your vehicle. It's safer to be thrown out of the vehicle it is not safer to be thrown out of a vehicle. If you are ejected out of a vehicle, um, the most common cause will be death. The proper way to wear a seatbelt. The shoulder harness part of the seatbelt should be worn over the shoulder and chest. Wearing the harness behind the back, wearing the harness behind the back is unacceptable and can still cause damage if a collision occurred. The part of the seatbelt that goes across your waist is called the lap belt. This should be fitted across your waist. Proper seating is required when driving a vehicle. Having the seat lean all the way back can cause fatal injuries if an accident was to happen. Head collision without a seatbelt. Depending on the speed you are driving in a collision in an accident can increase your chance of death when not buckling up. When a seatbelt, without a seatbelt at the rate of 15 miles per hour to 35 miles per hour, your body will move toward the windshield causing severe damage to the head and neck. Hitting a solid object like the telephone pole at this rate can cause ejection from the vehicle and possible death. Going at the speed of 40 miles per hour to 60 miles per hour without a seatbelt, you will be thrown from the vehicle. When we are going 40 miles per hour, what we fail to realize is we are driving 58 feet per second. Speeds at a high rate of 70 miles per hour and over, chances of surviving death without a seatbelt is very unlikely. Unbuckled in the back seat. If a car crashes with a passenger in the back seat who isn't using a seatbelt, the unbelted passenger can slam into the driver's seat, pushing the driver into the airbag and steering wheel with a 35 mile per hour impact. Many back seat passengers operate under a false assumption that the back seat is safer, um, when in fact they're, they're almost the same. Um, either way, you should always put on your seatbelt. You're causing more head trauma and neck trauma in the back seat. Airbags. You still must buckle your seatbelt even if you are riding in a car with airbags. In some cases, airbags have caused death and serious injuries. Airbags only work in head-on crashes for both front and passenger seats. And that's another reason why you should always wear your seatbelt. Meaning if you are hit from the side or um, possibly from the back of your car, there is a chance that your airbags will not deploy. Um, so it's always important to wear your seatbelt because those are the only two things protecting you in your car. I did some additional facts um, on seatbelt safety. More than 1.2 million people die on the road due to crashes every year. There's a high chance if you are ejected from the car, you will pass. If you crash even at 30 miles per hour, you will be hurled forward with a high force. And seatbelt saves over 13 lives per year. Um, I came up with a few solutions um, I, we can do to increase the awareness of seatbelt safety. Um, in order to reduce the risk of injury or death in a collision, up to 60% of seatbelts must be worn properly. Um, we need people like me to speak up more about the issue um, so we can build awareness. In conclusion, 
Traffic accidents happen all over the world. It's something we cannot prevent. However, we are able to prevent the increasing death rates by buckling up. A huge number of people get injured due to certain actions of being careless when entering the vehicle. However, small, simple choices can affect your life deeply. Not wearing a seatbelt can cost you or another person's life. I hope this encourages you not only to wear your seatbelt, but to be a leader to peers to create more awareness and let them know it's the right thing to do. Thank you.